Hey YouTube, it's your girl 4C Hair Chick here. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Today's video is going to be an update on my unit, which is the finger comber. So this is my hair last week, right after I got the unit, and as you can see, I blended the front of my hair, which I showed you in the previous video, and the wig is pretty well tamed. It's not very poofy at all. It looks very natural. Well, now let me show you what it looks like this week. As you can see, it's much poofier. I've worn this wig every day for a full week, and the volume is starting to increase and increase. It's big and it's not quite blending anymore the way it was when I first got it. So let me kind of walk you through what's going on. When I first got this wig, I was really, really excited. I felt like I found something that I can use to cover my head on bad hair days. And not only can I cover my head on bad hair days, but it's gonna look like my hair. So I was stoked, geeked, excited beyond measure about this wig. Um, so when I blended my hair and I showed you in the earlier video, that was when I fresh got the wig. Since then, the twists have kind of gotten bigger and volumized. And I found that the blending I had done in the front, it worked, but just overall the look was becoming a little unbelievable because the hair is just getting so big and, you know, that's, it's, it's getting away from my, what my natural look looks like. I've come to the conclusion I probably need to retwist this hair. And I'm slightly bummed about that because the whole reason I got this unit was to save time. So the thought of having to reprint the hair or whatever is, is not really, I'm not loving it. But um, I did make it through an entire week of wearing the wig. I wore it every single day. I think it looks crazy right now because, I don't know, just the volume, like I said, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I do have my hair still out, blended in the front. Um, the other thing that's happening is the baby hairs towards the front of the wig, I don't know, it's like they're starting to stick out a little bit. They're, they're on their own agenda. It's just getting kind of frizzy and ruffled towards the front. Um, which I hadn't expected. I thought it would be a pretty sturdy wig. So I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I'm being too rough on it. But all I do literally is just, you know, pull it, fluff it, and then pin it, and I play around with the front bangs that I pull out. So if that's causing the wear and tear, that's causing the wear and tear. But I feel like I'm not doing too much with it. So, yeah. Um... Okay, I want to talk about the hair, like the base of the wig real quick. I don't know if you can see this, but this section right here is the section that really looks fake to me. Everything else is, is cool, but this little section right here looks fake. And it's, there's not even a closure here, it's just that it's, it's oddly puffy right here. So... Um, I, sh I showed you guys how I blend it, but this piece right here, this is what I was talking about, the baby hairs that are poking out, that is, for some reason, it to me, it just looks, yeah, this looks stupid to me, and I, this little piece right here, this little piece right here is really giving me a headache. Because to me, that, that's the part that looks fake. So I'm trying to fix it. And I don't know. I guess I'm just not as in love with the finger comber as I was the week I first got it. And so I wanted to come on and share with you the thoughts I'm having and how I'm feeling about it. Because I don't want you to, you know, go get this unit thinking it's going to be all this and all that. Um, without knowing that there's the upside and there's the downside. You can make this thing look bomb.com. But um, at the same time, it takes some energy and effort. It's not as simple as I initially thought it was going to be. It takes some primping and adjusting, and you just got to figure it out. So maybe that's shame on me for thinking there was 
a quick and easy fix because a lot of wigs require some pruning, I think. Unless you just get a really, really, really good wig. But for the most part, you usually have to do some blending, especially if it's a lace front. And I'm just not used to doing all that work. I feel like if I'm going to put in that time, I'd rather put it in on my own hair than on a wig. <laughs> so I'm going to keep playing around with this unit, and I will update you if something significant changes, but my next step at this point is to retwist all of this because like I said, it's just getting too fluffy for me. And I'll go from there. I'll see what it looks like after I retwist it. So thank you for watching. This was just an update on the finger comber unit. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. I will definitely get back to you ASAP. Um, I really appreciate you for watching. Thank you for tuning into this channel. I am also on Facebook at 4C Hair Chick, um, and you can catch me on my website, 4CHairChick.com. Uh, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on Instagram, I'm social baby. <laughs> so catch me wherever makes sense for you. So yeah, it's your girl, 4C Hair Chick, and I am outro. <laughs>